Hello everybody and welcome back to another Ethan Journal video. Today I am back with um, another building my computer setup and as of today I have finally saved up enough money to buy a budget Mac mini setup and I was just going to show you guys what I have already, um, what I have budget for. So my total all in budget is just under $2,000 is what I can spend. And I wanted a desktop computer, so what I would I was gonna go with the M, um, Apple M1 Mac Mini because it has a core CPU and a core GPU, um, with 16 gigabytes of RAM and a one terabyte SSD. Basically, because I can't upgrade those things, so I'd want at least a decent amount. And then for peripherals, because the Mac Mini just comes with it and a power cable, I would head over to Best Buy and find some things. So first, I would get the two LED 27 inch. Um, monitors. Now, I don't know if I would need two. I'd probably be okay with one because it is 27 inches, um, but because I'd be doing video editing on it, I would probably want a bit more, but that's something that'll come to when I actually do end up ordering the setup in just a few weeks, and I will have a video showing you guys my entire setup when that comes because it will be replacing my current 2010 iMac, and I will do a comparison between the two using things like Cinebench and Geekbench programs like that. Then scrolling down, because it's only one terabyte and I really wanted to get two terabytes, but because of how much Apple charges, I am going to get a USB 3.1 Gen 2 um, Passport from Western Digital. It is one terabyte and it should be fast enough. Um, and no, I don't think I'm going to do shipping and I never actually put in the right address when I did this. So it says I'm from that address, but that's not where I am. I'm probably picking it up right at the store. And then um, there's the other monitor. And then finally I would get this really cool um, gaming keyboard. At least I thought it looked pretty cool. Um, it's by HyperX. If, now if I wasn't going to do this, what I would probably do is I would remove this one. And I would go with an Apple Magic Keyboard. Now I really do like Apple's keyboard. Um designs. I like how they feel. Um, they're not the greatest for gaming, but they work. Um, and I definitely go with the space gray one. Now the only problem is they are very, very expensive. And it's crazy how just turning it space gray makes it a lot cheaper. <laughs> makes it a lot more expensive than um, just like that. But to be honest, um, I really do like Apple's um, Magic Keyboard design. The fact that it's wireless and it works quite well. Um, I would say um, it would be a nice thing to do this, but it's all going to come. I do have a few keyboards right now. I already have an Apple keyboard. It's not the magic one, so it is wired. And that does fine for me right now. I could probably stick with that until I save up enough more money to buy an extra keyboard with it. But yeah, those are the current peripherals that what I would go with. Um, let me head back to the cart to show you guys again. If you guys have any other ideas, please leave them in the comments down below because I am looking for feedback as this is going to be the first computer that I'm going to buy by, for myself. Um, brand new, all the other ones I've had used with your own peripherals. And I, this is the first one that I am going to get, like I said, with my own money. So I really want to make the best out of the book. Um, so please tell me in the comments down below if you guys have any experience with any of these. Um, what you guys think would be good. Um, any other advice you have for me. I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, so yeah, I'll be constantly checking the comments down below on this video if you guys do have any ideas. So thank you guys, as always, for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and goodbye.